Welcome back. A new way to enjoy your favorite fizzy beverage. Mm. A soda museum just opened its doors. And our Steve Harris, of course, mm. is taking us through the evolution of the sweet drink. The Christmas lights in St. Charles aren't the only sparkling things that draw visitors. Now there's sparkling beverages. One, two, three. A snip of the oversized scissors and the soda museum and Main Street Arcade was open. Wall to wall cola collectibles. Who knew pop was so popular? And by pop, I mean sody pop. And I saw the Coca-Cola stuff and, it, and it, uh, the artwork on it just uh, was beautiful to me. Tom Smith knew. This is all his stuff. Uh, this is about 25 to 35 percent of what I have. He has tens of thousands of items he started collecting when he was 10 years old. I purchased my first item at age 10. It's still here today. This 1937 serving tray, now surrounded by pieces from the past. The idea to put all this in one place came to him while he was just a teenager. I really enjoyed it, but I really enjoyed sharing it with other people. I was the mayor, that's very, very right. Good. Some famous people, as it turns out, Former St. Charles Mayor Sally Faith took a stroll through the museum. He has worked so hard to put this together from when he was 12 all of his life, and it's now been his wonderful thing that he wants to get, and I think it's wonderful. But it doesn't stop at Soda Pop. Downstairs, an arcade where you can sit on soda-inspired stools and play Pac-Man. Uh, you know, we've got things for people of all ages. And his favorite soda might surprise you. I would say it's probably Werner's Ginger Ale. So if you're looking for a look back, Memory Lane is now open. Great. Steve Harris, First Alert 4.